Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the rail extrude uh, or path extrude, whichever you want to call it. Uh, in, here in Maya, uh, we're just going to take a simple box and extrude it along a path so that we can model cables, hoses, snakes, worms, whatever. Uh, and it's really, really easy. It's going to be a quick one today, guys. Um, again, it's just a little box and we extrude it along a path and so that we can create cables, hoses, uh, whatever. In this case, it's a cable up to a computer or a speaker or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start up a new scene and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on a polygon cube, just a simple cube. I am going to hit W to move and move it in the Z towards the back. Uh, because we're going to model the, the cable here in the front. I'm going to go to my top view. And, and the next step is to draw the path out. You can draw the path out uh, with several tools. I'm just going to use the EP Curve tool, which is this one. EP Curve. You can use the Bezier uh, tool and, oh, and any of these will work. I'm just going to click on that one. Uh, because it's so easy to draw a curve. You just click and then just click wherever you want and this curve will start drawing itself uh, and this is our cable and you have to kind of figure that uh, the the width of your cable is going to be this box so if you need a little thin cable you need to bring it down if you need a thicker cable like a water hose you need to bring it up it's up to you it's the size of this cube is going to make your cable so I'm gonna keep it like that and I am going to do one more thing here I'm gonna hit F to zoom in and I am going to rotate it so that it is facing this curve the beginning of the curve so that this face here is perpendicular to this curve so first I'm gonna move it over right to here and then I'm going to rotate it so that this face is perpendicular. I need to adjust it again, right there. So again, the face is perpendicular to the curve and it is right in the center. That's, that's the best practice. So I'm gonna go to my perspective view and what I'd like to do is go to right click and go to face mode, select the face I'm going to extrude and then shift click on the curve to select it. You've got, I've got two things selected, this face and the curve, and then hit uh, extrude. Uh, the, the keyboard shortcut is command E to extrude. I believe it's here, command E to extrude. And you're gonna get this. It, I know it looks bad, but it worked. Uh, it, it extruded all the way to the end of the path and and that is good it's a good thing now we just have to this is the extrude tool and now we're just going to increase the divisions in other words we're going to subdivide this whole extrusion and you can see it start to form the shape of the path uh, it goes all the way up to 25, but that's not the limit. You can always click in here and type whatever you want. So I'm going to type 100, and there it is. That's our extrusion. Not a big deal. We're done. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is uh, click on it, go to object mode, and hit number 3 for smooth preview, and there it is. The cool thing is that in here, if I go click on the keyboard shortcut number 4 for wireframe, there I can still see the curve in there that's the curve that we use that's the EP curve that we use to extrude it and the cool thing is that if you go in here right click on that curve and go to control control vertex you can see the vertices that control this curve if you select them hit W to move you can still manipulate that curve and you can see the geometry. I'm going to click five. You can see the geometry, guys, move along the curve in real time. 
So let's say that I wanted to raise, um, I'm gonna select on this uh, EP curve and I'm gonna raise this, select this one and I'm gonna push it and I'm gonna push it uh, up to here and so now we can connect this cable to something here. And you can see how easy and powerful this is that you can build cables like this and change them any way you want. Any way you can go up or down or whatever. Uh, that curve is still live and you can manipulate your extrusion now as much as you want. Let's say for instance uh, there is an object here messing with that. Let's say there's an object here. I'm just going to maybe make it a little bit bigger this way. Uh, and there's an object right there that the curve is um, interacting with. Let's go to wireframe preview, select the curve, right click on it, go to control vertex and I can grab this control vertex and move it up uh, on top of that object. Move it up on top of that object, just like that. In fact, I can move, move it completely on top. And now I can see that that cable is interacting with this object here. And so really, really easy. Now, if you want to get rid of that curve, you can't just go to object mode and delete it. You can't delete it, everything goes back to, to itself. What you need to do is select the geometry and then go to edit, delete all by type and history. And so that deletes the effect of the curve on the geometry and now that curve is no longer uh, controlling that geometry and you can go ahead and delete that curve and there it is. Now this is just one solid object and you've got no way unless you go to vertices and select the vertices and, and start messing with the vertices but this is just one mesh and the curve is no longer controlling it hey guys i hope that you liked the video if you liked the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys